The battle for Kilinochi that some say is entering its final phase. Here, Sri Lankan soldiers on the move, an army full of determination, an army in high morale and full of confidence. These men, we were told, have been to within a few kilometers of the Tamil Tigers' de facto capital of Kilinochi. They are part of the spearhead which is pushing the Tigers further and further back. On display, captured Tiger weapons and optimism from the Sri Lankan soldiers. So they, they don't have ability to uh, give a big punch to us. So our troops, uh, they, they are bravery fighting with the LTT. So actually we don't have any threat and we don't have any doubt. Uh, very soon we can capture the Kilinochi. A few weeks ago, this area was controlled by the Tigers, but now the houses and villages are deserted. No sign of life except for the military, the civilians long gone. This was part of the Tigers' main defences for their de facto capital. Called the Bund, it is a mound of earth three metres high, heavily fortified, that stretches for 20 kilometres. It took days to punch through. Uh, seven to ten days. Yes. Heavy fighting? Yeah, heavy fighting. A lot of uh, terrorists are there and they have put a lot of machine guns uh, and booby traps. We have to cross that all, all those difficulties and get through. It's action like this that demonstrates the determination of the Sri Lankan military, which in the last year has changed the fortunes of this conflict. Once it was thought only a political solution was possible, now the military think they have the answers. You know, people are saying this is the beginning of the end of LTTE, yeah. but still they're not finished yet, huh? Yes. They're still Always. fighting strong. Yeah. I mean, where they, they should fight again? It's the last battle day. That's why they are fighting so hard. I mean, there's nothing. They've been, you know, uh, back to the wall, no? There's no place for them to go. Yeah. The army showed us a tiger training camp they had captured. The sound of shells were going over our heads. <laughs> The army may think this is the last battle, but no one can get to the Tamil Tigers to get their view. We're now in Kilinochi district, something like 15 kilometers away from the heartland of the Tamil Tigers defense. We've got a little bit closer. We've seen scarred villages which have seen the signs of fighting. We've seen that the army is taking territory, but we don't know exactly how much territory they're taking, if they're going as fast as they say they're going. And it does seem that the Tamil Tigers are offering far more resistance than was originally first thought. Sri Lanka is spending $1.5 billion on its military. It has doubled the size of the armed forces to 175,000 men in the last five years, and it has paid dividends. Since January last year, the army has retaken the eastern province from the rebels, and now two-thirds of the territory they held in the north. Part of that territory contains the graveyards of Tamil Tiger fighters, some freshly dug. I think... Uh... Two, two, three weeks ago. Some of the graves have been desecrated, perhaps an indication of the deep-rooted ill-feeling that has grown in this war, the same ill-feeling that caused the conflict in the first place 25 years ago. Healing those rifts will be a challenge to any government. But the war is not yet over, and some are apprehensive. The Tigers may be wounded, but they are still dangerous and able to strike as they have done many times in the past, both militarily and with suicide bombers. These soldiers undertake their final live fire exercise on the edge of the battle zone before being sent to the front. Some in the army think the fighting could even be over before Christmas. But the rainy season is approaching, which will slow the advance. And if the Tigers retreat, their last stand would be in the thick jungle around Mulativu, and that could prove a bloody and costly objective. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, near Kilinochi, northern Sri Lanka.